Hi, it's Eldar and in this video I want to share you how we can adjust the speed and the timing of the appearance of this fading effect we have in blocks 3. And before moving further, let me apologize for my voice, I'm kind of sick at the moment, so I will try to sound as nice as possible, but please understand me. Okay, so the problem we have here is, uh, as one of the users here states, when we go to the preview of the Mac Mini website I created a couple of days ago, or weeks ago, and as you can see we have this beautiful fading effect, but this part racehorse all workhorse part is appearing only when we scroll almost like half through the website and i agree that it is maybe not the best possible thing to do and you can see it it is similar for all other effects on our website here so i had a little idea and i'm sure it's not like super technical and super good but i tried it and it worked so what i had an idea about is to do following so we have this uh, row here so and I applied the fading effect for this row so it appears uh, like slowly but what I try to do here is to add a class I will name that animation and what I do here is I'm adding the padding so let's say something like 500 pixels and obviously we have this space created for us which we don't need and to get rid of this space I will add the margin and it will be minus 500 so basically we created the 500 pixels space and then we get rid of that using this margin that's it so now we have this row kind of starting above these uh, futures, this is like four bricks here. So let's go to our preview now and see what happens. So this is the old version and as you can see it starts to appear here and let's go to the new version and as you can see even just when we start to scroll the page we already have this text visible. So if we get it to the same position you can see that the difference is huge and it's not very scientific like I said I will have to check how it looks on all breakpoints but at the moment it, it works perfectly so this is the quick video on how to adjust the speed of the animation appearance and if you have any questions please let me know and I will <clears throat> when I get better create more videos like this so thank you for watching goodbye